Thank you, Caroline, for the introduction. So, hi, everyone. I'm Quentin Adam from Clever Cloud, and uh, I will talk to you about how we use Apache Pulsar at Clever Cloud. So, for those who don't know Clever Cloud, uh, Clever Cloud is a platform as a service. It's a full featured cloud computing platform where developers can just push the application and we deploy it and we do everything that uh, keeps uh, all the lights on. So, security update. Uh, Auto scalability, logs collection, monitoring, aut um, automatically redeploy what crash, uh, backups. So there is a platform as a service, serverless applicative, uh, some database as a service. So multiple application will help developer to just gain from velocity and be more productive and efficient, and uh, at the end of the day, more happy in the job. So that. What we do at Clever Cloud. The, the old platform at the beginning was made with RabbitMQ because we love rabbits, because uh, who don't love rabbits? It's so cute. Um, so basically, we used a lot of RabbitMQ to connect all the EP advisor uh, between them and all our microservices between them. So at Clever Cloud is running with uh, 400 microservices and uh, we found several problems uh, using the RapidMQ system. So that's why at some point we decided to have an evolution of uh, our usage. So if, if, we, if you look at what we decide to, to address as usage, uh, there is the first point, which is logs and metrics. When I say logs, I speak about applicative logs, but also access logs. When I speak about metrics, it's more all the CPU load, applicative, all this kind of uh, complicated metric. All the asynchronous system uh, working together. So uh, all the usage of uh, using um, the service A speaking to the service B, blah, 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 and uh, all those things, which is business services. And uh, in the future, we have uh, more or less a uh, few points which use the event log inside the system as a backbone for the whole system infrastructure. So the challenge we face uh, going out from RabbitMQ uh, was some few challenges, like, for example, the client's scalability. Um, when Clever Cloud grow, and it grow a lot uh, this time, the number of clients becoming more and more important. And one of the more important point was uh, that RabbitMQ don't like to have multiple members of clients. And at some point, uh, it becoming slow for RabbitMQ to manage them. One of the very good point of Pulsar is because the backend uh, of storage and, and the, the broker system are split it up. It's very simple to have the so storage on one end and the broker on one other end. And on top, the principle of gateway or proxy, which um, allow you to connect directly all the client to the proxy and not to the broker system. And it allows also us to have multiple proxy pool, which lead to a quality of service of uh, connection system. So it's allow us to have a segregation of the different kind of client we have uh, in the system and using uh, a real ability to scale the number of clients on the system because we can use a proxy and not directly the broker. So that's one of the very important points uh, we, we choose to use Pulsar there. And it's allow us to directly stream the logs inside Pulsar with Vector, which is um, a big Rust da a diamond where we contribute all the Pulsar thing. So we will speak about that later. The second point is the infinite storage. Um, I really like the point of our distributed log system, which allow you to have all the event of your system here, and you can just pick this. And, and decide if uh, you can replay all the event or not. 
And it's something I really like in the Kafka infrastructure. And um, the infinite storage is possible uh, with Pulsar because you have this, you know, uh, unbundling of the broker system on the end, the storage system on the other end, and a very nice integration with the tiring system, allowing us to use an object storage for us. It's Cellar because it's a homemade uh, object storage. But using Cellar like this allow you to have all your business events forever inside the storage of the queue system and also have very big piece of storage uh, stored for a long time inside uh, the queue system. And that's why we decided that the primary storage system will be Pulsar for all the logs inside Clever Cloud, because basically all the logs are tied to the um, uh, object uh, storage system. And it allows all of our customers to decide what is the retention period they want for every kind of logs, which is a nice touch for many customers to be able to decide if they want to store the log or don't want to store the log. So the infinite storage is for me a very important point because we have the tiring and uh, this capability to transparently read a topic uh, across the different storage system. For us as a, as a developer, there is no difference on the API between the bookkeeper and the object storage. And that's one of the very big uh, capability of, uh, of Pulsar we really need. Um, the other point was uh, coming from RabbitMQ, we have a lot of queuing system uh, in place because we use IMQ topology a lot. And the ability on Pulsar to not choose between the pattern of the queuing or the streaming is a very nice point to be able to come from RabbitMQ and migrate off our workload from one to the other. And for example, the logs are way much interesting there uh, on the streaming uh, because it's, it's the way logs are distributed. But for many points like that, it's a very, very interesting point to, to, to get this. The other point is when you are on Pulsar, you can decide if a message will be stored on the hard drive or will be only on RAM and can be destroyed if the server goes down, but have this kind of UDP of messaging platform. And this kind of ability is very interesting for the kind of monitoring stuff we have. Before our monitoring was pushed on HTTP to our WAP tenant stands, and on, we are on the migration of getting all of the metrics directly uh, to Pulsar to push it to the warp 10 on another way, because using that, we save a lot of uh, bandwidth from the uh, VM and hypervisor to the monitoring system, just because uh, the protocol buffer system is way more efficient on this. So um, the ability of Pulsar to be versatile, queuing, stream, memory, uh, or, or, or storage is one of the very big, strong, uh, system to be on the middle of our architecture. And more, there is a multi-tenancy. We're very fanatics uh, on Pulsar of the ability to be uh, able to manage multiple people that don't know each other on the same system. The way that Pulsar made the multi-tenancy one of the core features of the platform from the beginning is very interesting for the kind of company like us because it's allow us to have a real management of rights and who did why and when. And for this, we built something called the Biscuit. Biscuit is a new ACL system, which allow people to gain some attenuation, uh, which means if, if I give you a Biscuit, you will be able to craft a Biscuit with the same rights or less rights than the one you, you actually have. So what's very nice with that is you are able to using a Pulsar system 
and delegate an authentication to other people. And for example, if you're using the proxy and the WebSocket system inside the proxy, you will be able to give directly to the consumer a, a, a biscuit with a limited short time to a precise topic, able to only give him the right to just read some new stuff there. So I think it's a very nice touch uh, for many people. So we built the Biscuit Pulsar integration. And for this, we have a lot of work with all the Pulsar team to build this kind of stuff. So uh, if you are very interested about the, the point of gaining great ACL on a, on a new and complex world, I think Biscuit can be a good solution. And last but not least is the geo replication of Pulsar, which is at the earth of what we need to do at Clever Cloud because people just want to deploy and forget about everything there. So I really think today a lot of people need this kind of integration to do what they need to do on the Pulsar system. So it's something we're actually working very well uh, on new integration. And uh, the geo replication will be something we uh, will be using for more and more consumer over the world. So one of the great points there is to say that uh, Clever Cloud right now is contributing to many things. First, because we hire the people behind uh, Kafka and Pulsar, which we're not uh, working on Scream Native. So uh, Pierre Zem uh, and uh, his team will be on Clever Cloud for their own. And what we want to build is the ability to read Pulsar, but uh, to read Kafka protocol, but from Pulsar. So with the multi tendency, with more security, with the geo replication and the tiring storage. So what we want to do is actually providing the feature of Pulsar on top of Kafka. Uh, I'm also happy to say to you that uh, Pulsar Rust have been uh, battle tested at Clever Cloud. So we, we didn't create the client, but we used it uh, on a regular uh, importance uh, piece of architecture at Clever Cloud, and we stabilize it a lot. And um, when we have uh, working on vector or uh, many internal daemon, what we have done there is providing a stable release for Rust system uh, inside Pulsar that uh, people didn't do before. So I really think it's a great stuff that uh, we have been uh, here to stabilize uh, Pulsar Rust. And uh, we will continue to looking uh, at the project to be sure that it will be kept in uh, production. And uh, all the work done uh, by Alexander to the topic uh, industrialization of Pulsar because uh, we we done some uh, very big merge request about that. So we, we, we continue with uh, the team of uh, contributor to the Pulsar ecosystem to be sure that many stuff will be pushed to Pulsar. And that's one of the stuff we really like about Pulsar is it's a real community where actual user of the platform can contribute and push new things. So I hope Pulsar will continue to be this kind of real open source community project where people can actually put some stuff on the, on, on the software without to be hired by the publisher of the solution on open source. And that's that's one of the points that uh, we consider uh, when we uh, decide to go to Pulsar. So what are we building on Pulsar? First, we build a topic as a service. So basically get a Pulsar namespace and price by the consumption directly on Clever Cloud uh, system. And we will integrate more and more stuff like that uh, on the future. And the second stuff we are building, it's a Pulsar function, which is able to run WebAssembly system wake up by uh, the Pulsar uh, uh, messaging. So basically, uh, you will be able to run uh, any stuff published to WASM and run a function uh, on top of uh, Pulsar using Pulsar function or Flink function uh, we already used at Clever Cloud. So 
this kind of stuff are very interesting and we linked it to our database uh, system where we will make some uh, change data capture to be able to to push to pulsar change data capture from pg or mongo and 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 give you access to the function to treat it uh, directly so we made some interesting demo around that uh, we we really want to push more and more feature on top of pulsar uh, uh, for this kind of usage. So thank you very much for your attention. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ping me directly uh, on Twitter.